What's up guys, this is the Shield Skater, I'm here for Sheet Magazine and welcome to another Sheet Skateboarding lesson. Today we are going to talk about troops. Yes, the metallic pieces that connect your deck and your wheels. Last time I was skating and I had a very bad look day. My back trucks hanger just broke in a very weird way. Look at this, skate life. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, today we have this new truck set up and I want to share with you all I have learned about these pieces of metal that are very important for your skateboard. Then let's go for the tips, let's go for the recommendations, let's talk about trucks. Trucks are the metallic pieces that connect the wheels and the deck. They are the most durable and mechanical parts of a skateboard. In that way, it is easier to break a deck than to damage your trucks. But that doesn't mean that trucks have to be overlooked. Because trucks are the parts of your skateboard that allow you to have control on the direction of your ride. And for that reason, they suffer a lot. What does he have for us? Oh, oh. Broke his kingpin. Yup, that right there is a kingpin break. Does... <laughs> then let's learn about them in order to know everything we need about trucks in skateboarding. When you buy a set of trucks, they are usually already put together and ready to go. But in this occasion, we are going to dissect them so we can understand each one of their parts and their functions separately. Trucks have four pieces. The axle is the large metallic pin that holds wheels. It is attached to the hanger, the triangular framework that holds everything together. This is the part of the truck that has the axle, bushings and wheels attached to it. It rotates in the pivot cup and allows the board to turn. In the center of the truck there are two bushings which are the rubber pieces that serve as a cushion for making smooth and soft turns without damaging the hanger. This is the truck's base plate and it's the base layer or foundation of the truck. And finally the king pin. This is the bolt that holds the hanger and the bushings together. Now we are experts in truck's theory. We need to put the theory into practice. Let's go to the spot. The first thing you need is of course to remove your old trucks from your board. I have different set of trucks in my actual board because after this moment... Look at my truck. I didn't have any other set of trucks. Then, for that time my choice was to use this very old trucks hanger and put it together to the other trucks base plate. For that reason you can keep some of your truck old parts. There is something that really can help you in an emergency moment. But dude, if you can, always try to buy good shit when it comes to your skateboard. If you're a skateboard, then we need quality, and you know it. Now you're ready to attach the new trucks. Remember, when it comes to choose the best size for your trucks, you need to know that the right size is measured by hanger or axle width. The most common setup is for the truck axle to be approximately the same width as your skateboarding deck. This setup offers the most stability. The trucks should always fit the width of your skateboard. It is important that they are not much wider than the deck, because otherwise the center of gravity will shift to the side of the deck. This may have an effect on flip tricks and can affect the general board field. If your deck is slightly wider than your trucks, it's no problem. Now it's time to attach the trucks to the skateboard with the bolt. You can do this with your hands until you think you need a skate tool. We have our trucks, our new trucks are already put together, then we have to put the wheels. And now we have these wheels, we are going to put them in the trucks. We 
With the axle nuts, you can do it this by hand too, until you think that you need the skate tool to finish the job. Yeah, now we have our new truck set up and I'm so excited. We are ready to roll with our skate. Let's go.